Hello everyone and welcome to this um, tutorial about uh, Jupiter. This is the second part and it's about Markdown and LaTeX. Um, in this tutorial we'll be um, discussing uh, Markdown which is one of the most important features uh, features in um, uh, Jupyter Notebooks. Um, it gives you the ability to create uh, documentation for your code in uh, formatted text and media and there is support also for LaTeX which implements high quality mathematical typeset to write down your mathematical equations. So uh, we'll start with the markdown. We'll go really quickly over this. Um, to create uh, headings, it will always create a bookmark for your heading so you can link uh, quickly to any part of your code. To do that, use the hashtag sign and you can use multiple of them to create any level of heading you want. Alternative headings, you can use the um, equal um, sign um, following your uh, heading or the dash sign following your heading. Um, Font style, you can do bold with double asterisk or double underscore, and you always have to close it with the same. Uh, you can do italic using single asterisk or single underscore, and you have always to close it with the same one. Uh, you can have scratched uh, text using the symbol, and you have to close it with the same. And finally, there is no support for underscore text, but you can do that with um, HTML using the U tag. Um, next are lists. You can uh, do an um, unordered list using the minus signs and you can have sub items just by adding a space before the item and it will render it like this and, or you can have ordered items and the way to do that is to have um, a serial number with uh, a following number like one two three with dot uh, then you add your text after a space always make sure there is a space whether you're using ordered or, or uh, unordered otherwise it won't render it fine um, next is uh, links you can uh, just throw a link in your markdown that will and it will render it just fine like this or you can have um, a reference to something with um, other text you can link to github using uh, bracket to github bracket and you can put your URL inside parentheses. Um, images, it's almost the same code. Just uh, add a um, an exclamation mark to the beginning. Um, and if you want to have some um, tooltip um, text that uh, will show up if you hover on the image, you can just throw that inside um, double quotes at the, um, after your link inside your parentheses and make sure there is a space between your URL for the image and the uh, tooltip uh, text. You can do the same for links also. Um, the next thing is uh, quotes. So make sure you clarify if you're quoting someone. So in here I'm quoting um, um, Fernando Perez. Um, and uh, to do that, use the larger than sign and you can leave an empty line and you can have a link back to the person you're quoting or um, the um, URL where you caught it from. Um, then you can add the um, horizontal uh, lines. To the way to do this, just throw three uh, dashes or three um, uh, equal uh, 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 symbols. Uh, tables, the way to do tables is um, you have to use the um, pipe uh, symbol and separate your columns, uh, separate the names of your columns. Then you add this formatting um, row. This row tells it how to align the code. So in here, I'm not using any columns. Or if I used uh, a column to the left, it will always align everything to the left. If I use two columns, one to the right, one to the left, it will um, align it to the center. And if I add one to the right, it will align it to the right. Um, HTML, um, you can just um, almost render an HTML by putting the HTML code inside your uh, markdown cell and it will render just fine. Code, sometimes you need to put code inside your markdown, it will not render this code but it's a nice way to um, document parts of your code, especially if you have like a large class and you want to get two, three lines to show what's happening there. Um, so uh, the way to do that is you use three um, accent um, uh, signs. Then you specify the language that you want to um, highlight with. So in here I'm using Python and it's highlighting Python. In here I'm using um, JavaScript and it's um, highlighting JavaScript. 
uh, LaTeX, um, it's used to write high quality mathematical equations. It's used for so many other things, but this is beyond the scope of this. It will take um, very long time to go over everything in um, LaTeX. But uh, in here, I left three resources for you to um, investigate this further. You have the LaTeX wiki, beautiful resource. You have uh, Duke University Department of Statistical Science. They have um, a comprehensive list in PDF for every symbol in LaTeX, very large document. And finally, you have the equation sheet. Uh, it's full of um, equations written in LaTeX. Um, and they're categorized um, chemistry, physics, uh, algebra, calculus, statistics. Uh, so you can choose which topic you're working with and find all the equations written in uh, LaTeX. So to render some uh, LaTeX code, you can enclose your code inside single um, dollar signs and it will render it in line. Or you can enclose it in double dollar signs. Uh, and it will render it as a block. It doesn't matter if you put it in line, it will still render it as a block. Um, operators, you can have add, subtract, multiply, divide, um, just like this. So add, subtract, multiply, you can do an asterisk or times, um, back, um, backslash times, or you can have a um, dot product uh, using dot. Um, to divide, you can use the forward slash or backslash div to add this symbol, the divide symbol, or you can use a fraction. So frac and the um, x and y. Um, relations, you can have an, approxim an approximation um, and, uh, oh, uh, one second. Um, code, uh, yeah. Uh, I forget to change this to infinity, sorry. Um, anyway, to um, use relations, you can use approximately equal. And the way to do this is uh, approx, using approx, uh, backslash approx. Uh, not equal to is uh, in EQ, so not equal to, and it will render this symbol. You can have an infinity, uh, just using um, infinity. Um, and uh, you can have a um, larger than or smaller than, uh, sorry, smaller than or larger than just by using the same symbols and it will render them fine. You can have the uh, larger than or equal to or uh, less than or equal to or larger than or equal to or greater than using um, LEQ, uh, less than or equal to or uh, GEQ, which is greater than or equal to. Um, fractions, you can use a... Um, you can s um, create fractions like this. Sometimes they're uh, more readable in some context. So you can do that with uh, using a carrot that will push the number one up and an underscore which will push number two down. And you can create a fraction like this. And of course, you have to have a forward slash between them. Um, second way to do it is a fraction and it will render something like this. So you use the backslash frac, then a curly bracket and uh, um, uh, the number you want to show on uh, top, then um, another curly bracket, and you can show your um, number uh, that will show on the bottom of the denominator. Uh, the same with um, uh, the same uh, thing can be uh, generated using over. So if you have a simple uh, thing, uh, simple equation, you can just use over between them. So three over four, it will render three over four. Um, Greek uh, alphabet, they're really handy uh, in writing uh, an equation and uh, instead of writing, um, for example, alpha, you can just show the um, alpha letter, uh, whether it's uh, capital or small, and there are a few variations and they're all available. Um, this is the complete list of all the letters. You don't have to memorize them, but it's a nice um, thing to know um, uh, how to get to them. Uh, one uh, quick thing about them, for example, uh, sigma is a um, perfect example. You will see the way to do a small sigma is just write sigma and uh, small letters. The way to do a, lar uh, a capital sigma is to use capital S, then the rest of the word, so sigma capitalized. 
and the variation sigma is var sigma. And this is um, a theme that you see all, all over the other characters. Um, power and index, so to um, show any powers in your equation, you can use the caret. So two, uh, x caret two, it will show two, uh, x to the power two. And if you have more than one symbol that you want to add to your um, power, you can use curly brackets to enclose them. So one over pi to render one over pi. Um, you can um, have uh, uh, ind indices, so um, to add an uh, index x of uh, n plus x of um, m minus 1, you can uh, use the underscore for, um, uh, so x underscore n, it will render x of n, and in their, uh, x underscore, um, in here I'm enclosing my code inside curly brackets because I have more than one symbol, it's just like the power. Uh, roots and logs to um, to represent um, um, a root of any level use the SQRT uh, backslash SQRT. So uh, in here I'm um, I have two roots, one to the uh, level three and one to um, level two, and I can r um, write that using SQRT um, bracket three uh, that will raise it to the third level. And any code I have inside it, I will enclose it inside curly brackets. Uh, the second one, I did not add the level because I don't want to show two because um, a square root is by default is to the second level. Um, the way to uh, show log, so log of um, x to the base x equals uh, one. The way to write this is a backslash log underscore, then the base, then whatever you want to show after the log. Sums and uh, products, um, you can represent a sum using uh, backslash sum, backslash limits, then underscore the lower limit, then caret the uh, upper limit, and make sure you enclose your limits inside curly brackets. So this is how to write the limit of uh, 1 over x from 1 to infinity equals 2. This is how we do it. Um, x equals 1 in the bottom and infinity in the top uh, then 1 over x equals 2 that's really um, uh, easy to write and product is exactly the same just change sum into product or, or prod and it will render this for you um, uh, statistics um, few things about statistics uh, sometimes you want to get to show that you're getting the maxima of something. Um, there is a max and usually you want to write the complete limit in the lower um, part uh, under your max. So uh, in here I'm saying uh, max of s uh, equals max of s of i where i of um, s of i belongs to um, s. and to do a minimum, just change the max to min. Oh, sorry. Just change the max to um, sorry <laughs> um, to uh, min, and it will render this um, a binomial uh, coefficient uh, with uh, n choose k. N choose k equals uh, n factorial over k factorial um, times n minus k factorial. The way to write this, it's really simple. Just um, I'm using choose, so n choose k between curly brackets, it will render this for you. And um, the factorial, I'm just adding an exclamation mark to show that. Um, some calculus in here. I will, um, the way to do a uh, limit, you can uh, use uh, the backslash lem, then limits to um, write your limit w uh, of uh, where does x go to or where does it approach? So um, in here, x um, the limit of one over zero as x approaches approaches zero from the positive side equals infinity, and this is how we can write that limit limits underscore, which is the lower one, um, x two, which will uh, render into this little arrow, um, x as it approaches zero. So I'm showing zero in the place of power. 
um, of 1 over x equals infinity. Simple. The, um, and here I have an um, integral uh, equation, and uh, the way to write this is int, then limits of a and b, and it will just show your two limits. Um, function definition over period. This is, um, I added this specific example um, because it's really common in, uh, it will, it's very common in your work that you will have to define something over periods over, or with a condition. Um, so to do something like this, uh, we'll have to do a few tricks. First, we have to use a large bracket. And um, the way to add a large bracket like this is using left, then bracket. And the problem with bracket, with the curly brackets, is they're part of LaTeX language. So we have to escape um, the curly bracket to tell LaTeX, no, this is not um, part of the um, uh, closing or opening um, 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 blocks of code. No, it's something I want you to render. And this is how you escape a character and make LaTeX render it. And to the right side of this, I don't want to show anything, so I'm using dot. So uh, backslash right, then dot. And I can add anything in the middle, and it will render it inside this block of code. The second thing, by the way, you can change this curly bracket into like a parenthesis or a bracket. And for these two, you don't have to use a um, an escape uh, character before them. So you can just change, uh, remove the escape character and change this into parentheses and it will work. Um, and to add a closing one, just use whatever matching uh, and closing um, bracket that you used. The second thing is the array, and this is to hold things in columns. Um, in here, the format of this is um, backslash begin array. And in here, I'm specifying my columns. So I'm telling it left, left, which is the alignment of each column. Um, and I can add whatever code I want inside. Then I end array. So I begin array. I define my columns. I put any code I want and close the array. The um, next one we need to uh, know about is how to break into the next line, which is just double backslash. Uh, and the final one is the text alignment uh, alignment uh, box, which is uh, inbox. Then I can add any text inside it, and it will ren not render it as mathematical. So in here, if I want to show F in normal font and not um, the font that it uses for equations, I can use an inbox, then I can add my text inside it. So um, let's look at the code for this. It's uh, f of x, left uh, backslash uh, curly bracket to write the big one, um, begin array, define the two columns, both aligned to the left, zero and, which is how I um, tell it which uh, part of the array this is, uh, this will go in. So I have two columns. So this is the first column, zero, and the second column, uh, I can separate it from the first column using an and. So this is my second column, which is the inbox f equal, uh, x equals zero, which is this part. The same for this one, one over x and, which separate the two columns, and uh, inbox f um, x not equal to zero. Um, note, if you're planning to show your notebook in MB Viewer, write your LaTeX code in one line. It does not work if you render your code in multiple lines. So if I did this uh, definition over um, two lines like this, it will not render in um, MB Viewer. Fine. Um, one quick quiz. Try to write the normal distribution equation. This is the normal um, distribution equation. I left a few hints here. If you um, solve it and wrote the LaTeX um, code for it, leave it in the comments. And don't cheat if you don't mind. Okay. I hope you like this. And this is all available uh, open source in GitHub. You can use it for any purpose you need, except finding out what's the code behind this. 
And um, I hope if you like this, you will subscribe to this channel and you can watch the previous part of this series about uh, w which was an introduction to Jupiter or the next part, which will be uh, Python basics, where we will be talking about Python 3. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.